Covering the death of Zaria McKeever now for weeks, and on the eve of a plea deal approval, the governor is stepping in. Zaria's family believes the two teens involved in her death are getting a slap on the wrist. And the governor seems to agree. Our top story in our 10 at 10, Governor Walls taking the case away from Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty and giving it to the Attorney General. Courtney Godfrey joining us, and this case is unusual. Very unusual, Kelsey. Attorney General Keith Ellison himself acknowledged how unusual it is to make this request of a governor, a request he says he doesn't expect to make again, but he agreed with Zaria's McKeever's family that the punishment in the case didn't fit the crime. She just started screaming. I'm like, what are you screaming about? <laughs> it's not every day you get a call from the governor. It's just like we were able to breathe a little bit. Delivering the news you fought tirelessly to hear. We still have our doubts and we still have challenges ahead of us. We feel like it's going somewhere. Paul and Marie Greer, along with their daughter Tiffany, celebrating the governor's decision to appoint Attorney General Keith Ellison to their daughter Zaria McKeever's case. The family critical of Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty's handling of it. After the two juveniles who broke into McKeever's apartment and killed her back in November were offered plea deals that would put them in a juvenile facility for two years or less. They say they always felt Moriarty was more concerned with the well-being of the defendants than them. We have been through so much as a family, and we've been told one thing after another, court dates, things have been changed, things have been lied to us and, and said it's not done and it's done, and we have been finding out things at the last minute. That's not support. In a statement, Moriarty responded to the news, saying... The attorney general's decision to insert himself in a prosecution when an elected county attorney is actively prosecuting a case is unprecedented. Inserting himself in these cases simply because he disagrees with the choice I was elected to make is deeply troubling and should alarm prosecutors across the state. The family, though, says they feel one step closer to justice. And we hope that if whatever happened or didn't happen, the people who might come behind us wouldn't have the same fight because of the work that we're doing. A plea hearing was scheduled for tomorrow morning for the 15-year-old who pulled the trigger in McKeever's death. It's not totally clear what will happen tomorrow, but presumably the previous deal is now off the table. As for the other teen, his deal has already been signed by a judge and he'll serve two years for the crime. Kelsey? All right. Thank you, Courtney.